Hi, I'm Christine Keck with Adva Optical Networking. I'm here in San Diego this week at the 2010 OFC NFOEC event, and I'm here today with Michael Eiselt, who is Adva Optical Networking's Director of Advanced Technology. Michael, your team has been part of a project and a research project that's called 100 GET, or 100 Gigabit Ethernet Transport. Can you talk a little bit about Adva's role and involvement in that project? Right, yeah. Uh, Adva's heading the 100 GET Metro project, which is part of an umbrella project which is called 100 GET. And in this 100 GET project, there's, it's a European project with partners from Spain, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Finland, Sweden, and of course from Germany. Um, and uh, the, the part 100 GET Metro, which Adva is involved in, um, investigates the transport of 100 gigabit per second signals mm -hmm. via an optical fiber for metro distances, meaning distances of a, a few hundred kilometers. So in this 100 GET Metro frame, we have involved several other companies within Germany who help us with measuring and with uh, simulating, modeling the transport. But Atlas part here is to really build the transport system, meaning build the transmitter, build the receiver of uh, 400 gigabit per second. Uh, so in this uh, framework, we have already built up uh, the optical front end for this uh, mm -hmm. transponder. And in fact, during this conference, during OFC here, we have shown the results, first results, uh, with transport of uh, several, uh, I think, 300 kilometers mm -hmm. with sufficient uh, quality. In the lab, we are now working on the, uh, on the electronics and, in, in fact, within the next few weeks, we'll combine electronics and uh, optics and it will be a real uh, transponder demonstrator then. Exciting. Yeah. Can you talk about what some of the drivers are in industry for this 100 gig transport? What's really causing the need for speed? Yeah, yeah I mean, you've seen during the last um, a decade, I would say, uh, the data rates in the network are growing. And, and I think the growth is pretty much constant. It's about a factor of 10 over five years. So that means within the next five years, we'll also grow over, uh, likely with a factor of 10. So we've grown from data rates of 10 gigabit per second via 40 gigabit per second, and 100 gig is the next, uh, next step. And where this growth comes from is mainly video, tra uh, video content, I would think. I mean, uh, cu customers expect more high quality video and uh, that really drives this, uh, this growth, in, uh, growth in the uh, data rates. You've spent a couple of days here at OFC. What have you been seeing? What have you been talking about? What's the buzz at the show? I think that's not too much new stuff, but I, I've seen that on, on the 100 gigabit frame, uh, 100 gigabit front, that there is, uh, that real transponders are coming out for, uh, for long haul transport. That's not what, what, uh, what we are doing in the project, but it's something which, uh, which will be further out, which will, might become a product. product. But it's, uh, we, we see that there is products are coming out, although I must say it's not, not completely there yet. So we will have to wait another half year, another year until we really see that. But this, that's one of the main discussion points here at, at OFC. How can you do that efficiently? How can you, uh, how can you get the, uh, the distortions of the fiber compensated in order to have a high quality 100 gigabit transmission? Super. Thanks for your insights and thanks for watching. Thank you.